Finding fools on Facebook is easier than ever. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Nintendo announced several updates and new games for the Wii U console. This spring, a software update will add the Nintendo Virtual Console to the eShop. It'll offer classic games from old Nintendo consoles like the NES and Super NES, and the games will cost between $5 and $9. If you already bought these games on the original Wii, you'll have to spend another dollar to re-download them for the Wii U. Another software update is planned for the summer. This one would speed up the time it takes to launch the software and return to the main screen. Nintendo's also updating the Miiverse social network, and it's creating an app so you can access the Miiverse from a smartphone. Nintendo also will launch new Zelda and Mario games. It's remaking The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker from 2003, and has also created a second new Zelda game. Two more Mario games are planned, including a Mario Kart racing game, and there'll be a Yoshi spin-off. Netflix and YouTube have teamed up to create an alternative system to Apple's AirPlay. They call it Dial, and it would be a protocol that developers can use to start an application on your smart TV or connected device by using an app on your smartphone or tablet. Dial has support now from Samsung, Sony, Hulu, and the BBC. According to a report by tech website GigaOM, some current Google TV devices already support Dial technology, as well as some of last year's Samsung and LG TVs, and consumers may start seeing this functionality activated in the next several months. Google beat analyst expectations in its fourth quarter earnings report and said it made $50 billion in revenue in 2012. That's up from $38 billion the year before. During the earnings call, it was mentioned that Google's working on creating an app that can plan a vacation for you. Google also boasted that YouTube viewers watched 4 billion hours of videos every month in 2012. But in the hour-long call, the social network site Google Plus was never mentioned. Facebook's graph search is causing more people to feel uncomfortable because of the interesting information it can reveal about people and their connections. A Tumblr blog showing some of the strange and embarrassing data you can pull up has gone viral. It's called actual Facebook graph searches. One such is a search for married people who at one point said they like prostitutes, or current employers of people who marked that they like racism. Now to clarify, it only shows info that you were already able to see either because these people are in your circle of connections or the information was shared publicly, so it's a good time to go back and review all the things you've ever said you liked. That's your tech news update. For more details on today's stories, you can head to the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.